Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm finally back. Um, finally back to making some videos. Today I want to do some catch up and I actually promised to do this on stream. Um, today I want to do some catch up and basically just go over all the things that I've missed while I was gone. Starting with the new monsters um, and also answering some questions that I, I got like quite a few times on stream um, about like the super evolution for Victoria etc. Um, the I guess the first thing I need to do is I need to take a look at the the newest monster, the new event monster. Um, I think it's called Fiora. Yeah, Fiora. Uh, it's basically this this flower monster that you, you know when you evolve her turns into this lolly, which is which is pretty amazing. Uh, the someone actually told me that. They, they reference me, they actually reference me with this monster, which means I pretty much have to make this the... I guess I'll make the dark version first. Um, I'm, I started making my team, and uh, or my farming team. I got my farming team ready, I'm going to start farming a lot more. So we're going we're gonna to probably be able to get both the light and dark versions of this monster. Um, yeah, someone told me that in the story they, they actually referenced me at the very, very bottom. It's basically like this... Uh, Professor teaching a class, and then at the at the bottom it says, Ex, um, "Except from a lecture by Professor Fantasy." Uh, yeah, it was it was actually really really cool that that they uh, they they noticed me, you know, senpai noticed me and and included my name in the game, which I think is pretty amazing. Uh, which means I pretty much have to have to make this monster now. I I have enough. I think to make a fusion, so I'll probably start with the start with the dark one first. Um, I think this is the only one I need. I'm just gonna make another evil two version of the Fiora, and then I will do the do the fusion over here to make the dark one first. Now I think the light one is actually stronger than the dark one, but since I can only make one of each. And I'm probably gonna get both anyways. I'll probably I'll, I'll get the dark one first, you know, just for fun. Um, also, have to take a look at their skills and kind of review them a little bit. I also don't have my my overlay ready yet, so right now it's just um, it's just me, you know, my big head and the screen behind me. I think it looks pretty clean. the The green screen that I use at home is a lot better than the one I was using in Canada. Um, the one I was using in Canada was basically just like a picnic tablecloth that I hung up behind me, but this one's actually on the wall, so it's actually a lot, a lot cleaner, um, as you can see. So there's no like, there's no uh, fizzly stuff, and maybe just a little bit, you know, where my hair is. But besides that, it's it's uh, it's pretty clean. Anyways, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at their skills, review them, and see if they. See if they're any good. Actually, I already took a look at their skills on stream yesterday, but I decided to just do it on video because not a, not everyone is able to catch the stream, and the stream's also very very long. Um, we'll start with the dark one. The dark one is a double sapper. It's got 80% chance to sap. Uh, the really cool thing is she does a three like a three types. She does three saps on her first skill with 80% chance, and but her second skill isn't all that good. It's only an 80% chance to do one sap, which Hmm. I don't think makes her that good in golems, but the 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 eighty percent chance to to do three one turn saps might actually be very very good for uh, for TLC fifty five. Like I I could probably raise this monster, use her for TLC, and just kind of keep her in my storage. I think the variant color actually looks really good. I actually like the variant color a lot more than the. Uh, the original. Although I wish the variant still had purple hair. I, I like the um, the purple hair that they have for the dark themed monsters, but I think the, there's there's too much purple. Like if it was something like this, but with purple hair, it, it would actually look really good. Um, <clears throat> the light one is actually a little bit stronger. I don't know what's, what's, what's my, with my throat right now. Um, but the light one is a HP aggressor. She's got HP aggression and a 60% attack down. Now this attack down isn't all that good. I don't think it's that useful, but um, a light monster with aggression on first skill is actually very, very strong for defense. As you might see from like Light Odin, Light Hana, 
um, or people using um, light, light John, people that actually have her. HP aggression on first go is actually really, really strong. It it kind of it kind of counters the dark dark attackers because when they come in, um, they're not able to kill you. And then on second turn, there's a chance for you to um, focus down one of them and then do a lot of damage and kill one of them and just completely messes up their arena offense. So I think she actually does have some uses in PvP. Um, her HP is also decently high. Unfortunately, her her defense isn't too high, so she might be a little bit squishy. The yeah, they also have a resist lead, but it's only for the same type of monster. But if you're running like a full light team, it it could help. But I'd probably still use an HP lead. Like it's easy to get max resist. Well, it's not easy, but you know if you farm gems long enough, you will be able to get max resist without like a resist lead um, on a lot of your monsters. And it's a little bit harder on light dark, but it's still it's it's definitely still doable. Um, I think that's pretty much it. There's there's also a wood one, but the wood one is mostly for for fusion, like to fuse into the light and dark ones. Um, the wood one actually has the best color scheme. I might actually make it just for collection purposes. The non variant one, I think, actually looks really well designed. Like how the how the hair is green and then the flower. It just um, it's pretty perfect. She's got a two turn sleep, eighty percent. Not not all that good. Um, but I guess I guess you can uh, you can you can collect her for lolly purposes, right? That's 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 exactly what we need. Um, the next thing is I. There was, there was, um, there's some new skins. There are some new skins, and I'm, I'm like, I'm super close. I'm super close to whaling. I'll, I'll probably do it actually. You might see it tomorrow. Cause I was thinking of using buying it for Victoria. I don't know how the skins work. Like if you can use the same skin for different monsters, where you have to buy different skins for different monsters. Um, but purple's for dark, right? And then this one's for the light one, right? And the, the dark one actually looks really good. Now, a lot of people were asking me, like, if I'm going to Evo 3 my light Victoria. Truth is, I don't have enough light stones to do it before the end of the month. So, um, at, at most, I can only evolve the dark one. And I've actually been saying this for a long time. But I kind of wish that I was able to take the helmet off of Victoria. Not just that, but like also get her back into her uh, her Evil 2 form. Um, and yeah, they actually did it. You know, they actually did it. And they, they actually made it a thing. Because if you read the Astro of the Month for the Victoria, like on the first line it says, It feels so much better to take off that stuffy helmet. Then why were you wearing it in the first place, you know? Um... But yeah, I... Wait, wait, wait. Do I have to make the... I have to make... I have to make Nike, don't I? Do I? Or do I complete the monthly quest? What's this? Collect one summon stone? No. Um, yeah, I've I've slacked off in PvP quite a lot. Wait, I, I don't. I only need three more quests. I only need this one. Ascend a Lucy of any element, which I will do. Um, use one skill book, which could be done very easy. And what's the last thing? Fight the Ashmon battles. Wait, where was it that said you could get 600 more Astro Gems if you, if you evil your Nike? Was it an event? Because I keep hearing it. I, keep, I kept hearing that you could get 600 more Astro Gems if you evolved one of your Nikes. I was considering evolving the Dark One, um, mostly for Dragon's V10. But it's kind of like a very specific purpose, only for Dragon's V10. But I do, I do use her 
for, for that quite a lot, so I might actually do it. Um, maybe it's in... It's definitely not in missions. I have no idea. I have no idea where you have to evolve the Nike to get her, uh, to, to make it, so you get the Astro Gems. I actually might do it, because it might make, um, might make my Dragon Speed 10 a little bit better. If I can get her HP slightly higher, she won't die, even when the Light Purse crits her. And then if I get her attack a little bit higher, um, there's a higher chance that I will be able to kill the dragon with everyone's AoE on the third turn. Same with higher defense, uh, just counters the light purse from killing her in one turn. And she also gets a super evil skill, so if I'm able to get it, like get her AoE off three times, which I don't think is is that easy. Hmm. If you come back tomorrow, I might have the skin. Ooh, this actually looks really good. Dude, her evil three form actually looks better. I'm not kidding. If you guys come back tomorrow, I might I might actually have the skin. I'm, I'm, I'm getting very, very close. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll evolve the light Ni Nike next month. I'll do Evil Three, I'll, or I'll do I'll do Nike instead of Victoria. Now I only have three million gold, so I'm gonna have to uh, do some farming and get some gold back afterwards before tomorrow. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, do they have different stats? No, they have the same stats. Am I sure I want to do this? Yeah, I feel like the Nike is actually better designed. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's do this. Wait, dragon's not out. Dragons will be out very, very soon. Um, shit, Titan's about to end. I only have a minute. Haven't really been doing my Titan battles. We're still short like four people if you want to join us. We're like, we're like super casual. Let me just, let me just fill the other slots with some seedlers. But yeah, some people were asking me like, um, about super evil, ev evolving like my Nike. Can't do the light one, so I have to do the dark one. Um, I actually think it's, it's not that useful. Like, you're probably better off evolving more Mihos, because Mihos can help you quite a lot in, um, in PvP, both offense and defense. You can use her for, for clan PvP as well. Whereas, if you do, like, Dark Nike, you can only use for, um, you can only use for dragons. And if you do Light Nike, I guess Light Nike is also very good for PvP. Um, I definitely will try to raise one next month when I have enough Light Stones. I'll probably start making Light Stones now. Maybe after I evolve another one of my Mihos, because I have a third Miho who's like who has better slots than all my other Mihos, and they and she has like a pugilist set on already, so I kind of wanna wanna do that as well. Well, there goes my team. Probably want to focus on Titans a little bit in, right now as well. Having a uh, I haven't really done that, but I really, really, really should. Alright. I don't think this team's too bad. Well, the first team is just kind of 
random people. The second team has my Dark Indra. And I have, like, everything just to protect them. And give them as much, uh, buffing and everything as possible. Same with the Verde. Man, I really like how they have a number at the top now, so you can actually see how much damage. It's easier to me measure your team's damage like this. Ooh, no attack down. I hope the Hana lands one. Nice. Come on, Indra. Oh, man. He doesn't have the defense buff. I think he's dead. Oh, no, he's not dead. But he got, uh... He got silenced. Or not silenced. Yeah, that's silenced. Alright, there we go. That was like... I don't know if that's good or bad. It's like 3 million damage. It's probably kind of bad. But, you know, Indra did like a million by himself. Pretty much single-handedly carried everything. I should probably raise my second Dark Thor, because Dark Thor actually does quite a lot of damage as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the Snow White Rebirth. Now my plans is to do a Rebirth Festival summoning video tomorrow because I still have one more day and I'm going to use my time before tomorrow to um, gather a few things so I have enough, have some more monsters to do for, for Heroes Fest and also for Rebirth Fest. Um, I'm going to be summoning quite a lot, well actually not quite a lot but just summoning enough to try to get my heroic egg um, before tomorrow. If there's still one hour and seven days so before tomorrow I'll definitely be able to do it. If I just record at, at this time tomorrow and um, my goals or my plans is to try to get one of the variant Snow Whites to continue what I was doing before um, like 15 days ago at the beginning of the month try to get another variant Snow White um, well not another but I don't have one yet I'm trying to get a variant Snow White because I think she she could potentially change the game for PvP um, her leader skill is completely unique. Nobody else has this. So we're going to try to get her and then use this for use her for PvP. Um, I have a, I already have a light Snow White, but I don't have a variant one. So hopefully I can get a variant Snow White with um, a decently high leader skill. Because then this way, this would counter a lot of the, um, the dark attacker offenses. I think, I think, um, I think the devs are trying to get people away from that because you know pvp has kind of been um the same you like you just use dark attackers throw them in and then it got to the point where everyone has to use light defenders um or light like aggressors on defense and uh i think they're trying to trying to change they're trying to shift the meta away from that so that they introduce monsters like these that have um that are like really tanky and then shock and aggression both kind of counter um, the dark attackers and then this can this can counter them even more because if they don't crit and they can't kill you on first turn it's kind of it's kind of over for them so basically just by having her on the team as the lead um, it makes it very very hard for dark attackers to like kill some someone in first turn or at the very least they won't be able to reliably kill someone on first turn so I think she's she's a pretty game-changing monster so I definitely do want to grab one and if I can I also want to get a, um, a dark um, Snow White as well because she has she's a dark attacker with a uh, hunter on first skill so you know if I don't have the light Snow White it's gonna be pretty crazy because you'll be able to kill my defenses pretty easy with with her and then if you have monsters like um, dark Seedler or um, dark uh, Mandragora it's gonna be very very hard for me to not lose to that so definitely do want to try um, but yeah I think that's pretty much it um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna test out the dark Victoria I'll, I'll just throw in a random story stage so I I mean she is a kind of new monster I do want to do want to see what she can do
It's mostly the look of the attack animation. Oh man, this looks so sweet. Oh man, look at that. You know, I still wish they, they had something to counter resist. It would make uh, a lot of monsters like a lot more usable. Then it wouldn't just be all aggressors. Cause that's probably that's 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 what I think is gonna happen. It's just gonna be all aggressors from here on. Man, no blue souls. I wonder why no blue souls. Alright, that's two. I just want to see her active. I also want to see her like super skill. So I'll probably, um, in the next run, I'll pair her up with a whole bunch of... Uh, I might as well do it now. I'll pair her up with a whole bunch of uh, bar boosters. It's too much CC there. All right, I'll use all the bar boosting I got. Start with this. Do some of that. Do some of this. All right, she should get like at least 30% of her bar now. So close. Alright, let's, let's see what the AoE looks like. Alright, that was not bad. I should have had Kira um, put up the skill first. Ooh, it's Cosmo. I'll take that Cosmo. Why didn't I pause and pause? Come on, stop resisting! Stop resisting arrest! Alright, um... Guess I'll just generate a lot of blue souls like this. Let's get everybody's bar full. And then have her attack as well. And then she should get a, a full bar again this time. And that's two. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up. Um try to get a lot of blue souls for her. And then we'll both attack the same unit. See if I can get her bar full really fast. Wait, I can I can do it. That's ten percent, it's another ten percent. Alright, here we go. Wait, 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 I need to, I need one time speed. Oh man, that's so sick. Holy shit, that's, that's amazing. Alright, um, yeah, I think I'm pretty caught up now, um, with the new monsters and everything. And, and, uh, got her super evolved. She looks really cool too. Like she looks way better without the helmet. The helmet was dumb. I can't believe they actually did it. Like I remember when the news for Super Evolution first came out. Probably checked that video. It was like quite a long time ago. I was like, I wish, um, like, you know, 
there, there would be one for Nike, and she would have no helmet. And that's exactly what they did. But anyways, it's really good to be back. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with a Heroes Fest video, doing a lot of summons, and also as many rebirths as I can to see what's, which Snow Whites I can get. Um, and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.